Ultima Thule, or, A Summer in Iceland, by Richard Francis Burton is a captivating travelogue that takes readers on a vivid journey through the unique landscapes and culture of Iceland. Written in the mid-19th century, the book provides a window into a time when Iceland was still a relatively unknown and mysterious destination for many Europeans. Burton's narrative is rich in detail and paints a vivid picture of the Icelandic terrain. He skillfully describes the rugged beauty of the landscapes, the roaring waterfalls, and the ominous volcanoes. The reader is transported to the remote corners of the island, experiencing the harshness of the weather and the challenges of traversing the rough terrains. Burton's descriptive prowess brings the Icelandic scenery to life, allowing readers to almost feel the biting cold and hear the sounds of nature. In addition to the physical landscapes, Burton delves into the cultural and historical aspects of Iceland. He introduces readers to the Icelandic people, their customs, and their way of life. The author's keen observations and interactions with locals provide valuable insights into the social fabric of Icelandic society during the 19th century. Burton's encounters with the native population add a human touch to the narrative, giving readers a sense of the warmth and resilience of the Icelandic people despite their harsh living conditions. One of the notable aspects of Burton's narrative is his exploration of Icelandic folklore and mythology. He delves into the rich tapestry of Icelandic sagas, legends, and superstitions, providing readers with a glimpse into the cultural heritage of the island. This adds depth to the travelogue, making it not just a physical journey but also a cultural exploration. Burton's engagement with the local myths and stories contributes to the overall narrative, enhancing the reader's understanding of the cultural nuances that shape Icelandic identity. Throughout the travelogue, Burton reflects on the impact of nature on the Icelandic psyche. He contemplates the influence of the harsh climate, the unpredictable weather, and the volatile geology on the mindset of the people. Burton's musings on the relationship between the environment and the Icelandic character offer readers a thoughtful perspective on the interconnectedness of geography, culture, and human experience. This thematic thread weaves through the entire narrative, providing a cohesive element to the diverse aspects of Burton's exploration. Moreover, Burton's writing style adds a layer of charm to the narrative. His prose is eloquent and evocative, capturing the essence of the Icelandic experience with poetic flair. The use of vivid imagery, metaphor, and occasional humor keeps the reader engaged and enhances the overall literary quality of the travelogue. Burton's ability to convey the beauty and harshness of Iceland through his writing elevates Ultima Thule beyond a mere travel account, transforming it into a work of literature that resonates with readers on an emotional level. In conclusion, Ultima Thule, or, A Summer in Iceland, is a compelling travelogue that transcends its genre. Richard Francis Burton's exploration of Iceland is not just a geographical journey but a cultural and philosophical one. Through meticulous observations, engaging encounters, and eloquent prose, Burton creates a multidimensional portrait of Iceland that captivates readers and offers a timeless glimpse into the soul of this enigmatic island. The book remains a valuable historical document and a literary gem that continues to transport readers to the distant landscapes and intriguing culture of Iceland.